enemy and help her. Want your help? Feel pain, scum. Damage delivered. Firing salvo. Let's go, BD. Thanks for the help. What this is, buddy. Impressive. So, this is your kingdom. I work with many talented scientists. None as talented as you, Centauri. And yet we've reached an impasse. Perhaps he will bring me some much-needed luck. Not bad for an abandoned facility.
Good Neko. Doing all right? Let's go, BD. Well, you got a mean look to you. I do? Yeah. Like you're not afraid of nothing. Maybe you can find out what all this fuss is about. There's a shack nestled way out near the caverns. Folks call it Key's Workshop. What's in the workshop? Misery. And maybe treasure, or so I hear. If you're in the area, could be worth a visit. Gulu, Guido, what's going on? Just bemoaning the sorry state of affairs in this place. What did the raiders do this time? No, not them. We were talking about how things ain't like the good old days. When we started out here, life was grand. The place was nearly empty. Barely anyone to bother you. Sounds like paradise. Well, it's the way of the galaxy. The only constant is change, and everything gets worse with time. Yeah. And there's always one turgle everywhere you go. <laughs> Something you need? Ah, you troublemaker. Hey, you! You're the one taking shots at the raiders, right? That's me. Bad idea. The raiders have got eyes all over the reach. What kind of eyes? Ravis has got a watchtower in the valley. Maybe I'll check it out. Figured you'd say that. Head towards the spires. Can't miss it. Of course, they won't miss you either. You know, because of the watchtower. You didn't try anything brave with that watchtower, did you? Not yet. Smart. Hello there. Twenty cycles ago. Heard this town was nothing but a few shacks. Now look at it. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I could go back there. See what it was really like to rough it. You could always head into the wilderness and start your own town. I think I'll stay here, thanks. They don't look friendly. We're locked out. Need to slice this. Why'd you ask me here? I don't like you, and you don't like me. That's right. But you annoy me a lot less than the others in this go-nowhere town. 
And I think you feel the same. What are you saying? Out with it already. I'm saying this is a date. And we're on it. And if you don't like it, too bad. Can't hurt to take a look, right? Ooh, take a look at that. I'll grab this one. Yeah, some good-for-nothing raider triggered the security on my storeroom door, now it's locked shut. Maybe your little droid can use this encrypted backup code to get it open? My goodness, you unlock it. Feel free to take whatever you can make use of. we got here I've seen you around Piloons Keep. Hey, how good to see you, Cal. Word is there's a traveling troubadour and a DJ droid from the core worlds on Kobo. Not what I expected you to say. Any idea why they're there? They've hiked out onto the valley plateau to sample the sounds of the wild. And the sounds of the wild can come from creatures that kill you. Can't drop those beats if you're dead. I'll see if I can find them. I suspected as much. Gal, how do you and Grease meet? I was working on Brock as a scrapper. Grease gave me a lift when I needed it most. The way he tells the story, seems you gave him a lift, too. That's so. He never said the words exactly, but when I wanted to turn that back room of yours into storage, <laughs> he threatened to replace me with a gontroid. People show their affection in strange ways, don't they? Yeah, Monk. I guess they do. Till next time, pal. Hey, Monk. What can I do for you? It was good to see you. Hey, buddy. Hiya, Cal. You and Droids seem to get along, don't you? Sure do. Always had trouble connecting with people. Droids are logical, easy to fix when broken. People are unpredictable. No kidding. But once you find the right person, it gets easier. Hope so. Great to see you. That your ship outside? Yeah. What's it to you? Kinda girl be pleasantly surprised when someone brings some class to this rock. Was that a compliment? Was it? Let's see what we find up here. Cal, I gotta confess something. Here we go. That tech I tried to sell to Ravis, there's more of it in the valley. A building right in the center. You can't miss it. We've already been there, Turtle, but thanks for the tip. Really? Well... Is it too late to say that we split whatever you find 50-50-50? Maybe next time. I'm gonna hold you to that. Hi, Cal.
It's you. I saw you tearing through the woods. Remember me? Name's Toa. I'm a historian. Freelance, these days. Cal. Also freelance. You planning on doing more exploring? Of course. This is my first time beyond the mid-rim, but I can already tell this place is a trove. Centuries ago, folks couldn't wait to scratch out a living under a new sky. And hell, they sure chose a vibrant world. Vibrant, huh? Hey, let me know if you find any more of those chambers, yeah? Will do. Cal, I heard about a meditation chamber. You gonna check it out? Oh, I wish. It takes some serious acrobatics to access it, and... <laughs> I could give it a shot, Toa. A shot? This coming from the guy who scales basalt pillars in the time it takes me to date my field journal. <laughs> Happy hunting, you two. Some other time, okay? Strangest thing. I was enjoying a lively constitutional earlier today. Really? You? I deserve that. Anyway, I saw the strangest duo putting around the far side of the valley. One was tall and quiet, one short and babbling. They had stopped to inspect some beastly carcass. This had you written all over it. I deserve that. You know, you've got a core world air about you. It's becoming. You from the core? Guilty as charged. I studied the galactic economy with some of the greatest minds of Coruscant. Then watched those same minds ooze into obscurity while real opportunity whistled by. Real opportunity? Oh, you know, tax-free trade, extrajudicial imports, what have you. Oh, you mean smuggling? What I mean is that the galaxy is begging to fill your pockets if only you play its game. Talk later, hmm? Not bad, huh, buddy? Conditions are perfect for a garden. All right, let's try planting these seeds we found. And what do you think, PD? Here? Plant this here. And now we wait. The new fella. Howdy. Howdy back at you. If you're looking for a side, you might want to trek to the higher edges of the canyon. Is it worth the hike? I wouldn't know. Never been there myself. I'm too steep to climb. And there's a lot of creatures up there. Some of them won't even eat you. Sounds like paradise. It's a tough climb, but you'll find a way up. And you'll see the true majesty of Kobo. I just know it.
garden's looking kind of respectable. Z, you're looking good as new. Indeed. That mechanical mixologist is a miracle worker. I must know, did you locate the key to Tannalor? Uh, it's complicated, but we'll find it. Monk told me what transpired while I was asleep. To think the Jedi Order is no more, that must have been dreadful for you. We have both been through so much. But we must persevere, Cal. After all, what else is there to do? That's right. You've got room for one more? I shall remain here, but if you need my counsel, I will be at the saloon. I am very fortunate to have met you, Cal Kestis. Found something out there. Oh yeah, what do you got? Another holocron? A Jedi, from the time of the High Republic, somehow preserved him back to Dagon Gera. I freed him. What happened? He attacked me. Escaped with the Bedlam Raiders. He's who they've been looking for. Says the Jedi betrayed him and turned to the dark side. Are you okay, kid? Tantalor. It's real grease. It's hidden somewhere in the abyss. Oh, that's impossible. The Abyss eats any ship that gets too close. The Republic found a way through hundreds of years ago. That's why they built that array in the forest. A hidden world that nobody's been able to reach for centuries. If you figured out how to cross the Abyss, you could just disappear. Completely. No Bedlam Raiders. No bounty hunters. No Galactic Empire. I'm just spitballing here, but that does sound like a place that someone could call home. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a home. Get your feet down. Uh, all right, I'm going back to the cantina. You know, Grease, we could use a real pilot. I don't know. I mean, you're doing okay on your own. I mean, you could clean the Patoli weave every now and then. We day. don't know the Mantis like you do. Nobody does. Oh, Cal, I'm, I'm sorry. My best days are behind me. I, I can't even hold my card steady. I know things are different from how they used to be, but I'm not sure I could do this without you. Is that really how you feel? It is. Well, I mean, I guess I could. Have Monk keep his eye on the saloon. Greasy money. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you in? I mean, there's not going to be much in the way of credits. Cal, this is better than any score. Imagine, 
No more looking over your shoulder. A safe place for us. For the ones we love. If anyone knows about a lost Jedi world, it's here. Jedi! Ah ha! It's about time you paid that lady a visit! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make us some food before we go. Thank <laughs> you.